Why do you get glasses? Because I wore them last time. Oh, it's fucking bright. <sighs> we'll tuck the wires in so it looks like we're professional. All right. Oh. You just tuck these wires. Hope I don't look like an idiot squinting like this. All right, you look Asian. Oh, did we say hi? Hi guys, we're back. Uh, this is Jeremy. I know some of you guys call him the white guy. That the white guy. The yeah, white I like guy. That. White guy. But it's his name's Jeremy. I'm uh, TGK or TK or Theo. And uh, yeah, so we talked about gun control last time, and I know people are still commenting that you can't make the change. But I didn't know about the Australia thing they did in Australia. So I mean, it got, to me, it can be done, right? It's just well. A, then there was another guy who commented though that even though they did do it in Australia, there is a black market gun market. Oh, yeah, there a is. Black a... market gun market. Does that but, make sense? Yeah. But, no, but there's a black market of guns in Australia that's growing now because of that. Uh, he did. I don't know if it's true or not, but there was one guy who uh, wrote like a fucking paragraph on, and he said that, yeah, so it worked, their crime went down, but there is a black market appearing, so. But no massacres. No massacres, yeah. So, yeah. so, so far it's been worth in Australia, but. Yeah, I didn't know that about Australia either. It's interesting. But, anyways. So, uh, my, I guess, I would, I would say friend, but she's actually more than that. She's my ex-fiance. Uh, and she's got a pretty cool bag line called Mary Rich. So if you Google MaryRich.com, you could see her and see her bags. Anyways. Oh, nice little plug. Yeah, I know. A little plug there. I like Promoting that. her to our 6,500 fans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Almost 6,500. Cool, cool band. Uh, uh, bags, I mean, sorry. Anyways, she asked me to, to okay, so... We have an aquarium here called the Vancouver Aquarium. She goes, hey man, come down and protest. Um, there's a bunch of us going down to, you know, because animals should not be held in captivity, et cetera, et cetera. And I, you know, after seeing the documentary Blackfish, um, after watching the documentary Cove, you know, I, I, it just doesn't make any sense to have animals in captivity for entertainment. I thought about it, I was like, well, if I'm gonna go protest animals in captivity, mm -hmm. is it hypocritical to do that, yet I eat meat, so I was I eat fish and chicken. And I was like, I don't know, and I, so I thought I, I, I wouldn't feel right to protest animal captivity. Yet there is animal slaughter, and and you know, uh, I mean, to put you know meat and eat this protein and get in your system. Now there's there's arguments about oh you don't need to eat meat to survive, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But we don't kill cats and dogs, but we'll kill chickens, pigs, uh, cows, lamb, you name it. Because we, you know, humans like to eat meat. Now, I, but it's also you, the whole cat and dog argument is it, it, we the meat that you get off lambs and beef, we digest that easier than cat and dog meat. Really? I, uh, really? Like, yeah, yeah. We like. We, I, we, I don't know that. I've never eaten it before. How do you know this? I don't know. I'm just making it up. But I'm assuming that's the reason. So you're right? lying. No, but I'm. <laughs> I'm assuming that's the reason, right? That's got to be it. Like, no, there's a reason why it, we chose it, cows and lambs. Uh, well, I think there's a few things. In, in third world countries, uh, it's a fact that, especially, and I know in China, Vietnam, they will kill dogs. They, but it's a certain species, it's a certain type of dog. Well, it's well, not just like no, no, poodles no, no. and chihuahuas. It's like a specific type of dog that's bred for breeding. Well, I know, I know in Korea that that's true. Yeah. But I think in third world countries, if they're starving and they see a poodle running across the street, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they would kill it. Oh, I'm serious, to, to eat the no, meat. Mincy. It's just weird, like some animals we don't kill. Uh, you know, you, you know but, uh, but one, another brand, or another kind of animal, sorry, we kill But maybe they, the meat. maybe, you, like, I'm sure at some point they've killed cats and dogs. I mean, at some point that's happened. So maybe they've done it and it's just, it's just like not great meat. It's like, it's not, it doesn't taste as good. And then you eat like a chicken leg and you're like, oh, okay, this is what we should be doing. Like, oh. Uh, I don't maybe it's been figured out. Know. Like I would assume at this point, most things have been eaten, and uh, we've yeah. just come to the conclusion that like chickens and cows, like you, you, they try like a leg of lamb or a, or, a, or a steak, and they go, oh, okay, now this is what we should be doing. I like eating meat, and, and but I have been thinking about it lately. It's like, yeah, you know, and, and, and there's all these videos. And recently in, in, in Vancouver or in Canada, we've got a place or, or Dairyland Farms, and there was a video leak to hidden where eight. Uh, uh, Workers out on these farms were abusing, like they were like taking cows and hanging them and making them dangle from their neck and beating them. This uh, is recent. Yeah, it was just in the in the in the news a couple of days ago. Where um, is it? Where was it? Happening? Uh, like Vancouver Sun Online or Province. No, somewhere. where was it happening though? In Vancouver. Yeah, I I don't know. I, I know Dairyland. Yeah, I didn't hear about this. So Dairyland's Canadian. Oh, Dairyland. Uh, so yeah, so you've got like 
these guys are kicking and booting and like taking the like crowbars and hammering these animals. It's like they're gonna, they're dying. So I want to just you know. Oh, yeah. So I always think like I don't know like I don't know. Are Buddhists vegetarian or vegan? Wouldn't they be uh, Buddhists? I don't know. I, I could, you should Google it. But maybe you know. Here's the point: is like it, yeah. do do all animals have the right to live? And if they do, then we shouldn't be eating meat. Only if, like, yeah, because I think I humans can survive on a a, a plant-based diet. I feel like meat, if it was if it was taken care of properly, like if the cows were able to like eat grass and you know like not be super crowded in a warehouse, and you know, if if, that, if all that could be taken care of, it would be great because that actually me, me, grass-fed meat is actually Boy, really really you. beneficial to your health. Like, but. Is that possible on the amount of food that we need to give to the amount of people on Earth? That, well, that's the thing. It, that's like, the thing. Is I mean, veg vegetables uh, are well, inexpensive. So if we ate the salads all the time, sure, you know, we would well, we would be skinnier. But I think you can get proteins and stuff. And I I, I understand there's certain proteins you cannot get anywhere else through, except through meat. I don't know. I mean, we, can't we? This is 2014. Can't you make? I'm sure there's supplements and stuff, right, for iron deficiency. Yeah, you know, there is, there is, but fuck, steak tastes good, man. Just imagine being in the slaughterhouse and seeing all these animals getting killed day after day after well, day. Well, the thing is, I don't. I, I think it's. I don't think it's wrong that animals are killed for food. I don't. Well, in the wild, in, 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 in my honest chain. opinion, I think it's fine. I mean, I think to kill an animal so that we can eat their meat, I am not opposed to that idea. It's the treatment of that animal up until it gets killed. That's what I don't like. So then, how do you? I yeah, mean, well, that's, that's the, the tough thing. part. That's the tough part. It's, you can't it's, police it's hard, that. It's hard to police that. Yeah. Because well, I mean, you have people like um, uh, what's her name? The the or maybe she's not autistic. The famous lady who came up with the Temple Grandin. Do you know her? No. You don't know Temple Grandin? No, no I know who Michael okay, Jordan is. <laughs> do you know who Michael Jordan is? <laughs> Air Jordan. Okay, Temple Grandin is a is a lady who who started to come up with ways of. Um, I know Temple Kung Fu. And anyway, so she came up with ways of what? Of uh, how to treat an animal up until it's slaughtered for big, huge slaughterhouses, okay. and how to do it humanely. I have worked all my career on improving how animals are handled, and one of my biggest frustrations is you go out there on the internet, and there's all these terrible undercover videos, and there's not much video of things being done right. So, like, there's a, they put like huge walls up so the animals are like have like blockers on their vision. They don't. There's, she came up with all these ways of like uh, so an animal can be at peace till, up until the point of death. And so, like, there's stuff like that going on, but it's it's super hard to police it with the amount of slaughterhouses there are. And it, the other thing that is interesting is, who would want like for me like, you have to pay me a lot of money, and I don't even know if I'd do it to work at a slaughterhouse. I think it takes a certain person to be able to kill, see all that blood. Yeah, I mean, cut, well, yeah, right. And also, so what I'm saying is, that person who's comfortable doing that, I think there's a better chance of those people being kind of. You know, after a while, they start to like, you know, get bored, and maybe that's where the torture starts. That's where, like, no, I'm serious. Think about it this way: when Nazis in Japan kind of ruled those areas, they weren't humane. They were fucking assholes. Uh -huh. So, when humans have this certain no, no, seriously, when uh -huh. humans have a certain level of power, I think some humans the the some of the dark sides of of the brain come out, and they start doing some fucked up shit. And, right. and that's the thing. But is, I think that a lot, like, I don't think that majority of the people that have slaughterhouse jobs go like, I'm gonna go into this to fuck up, fuck with animals. No, I they don't. But they more go, like a necessity thing, like they, it's but the, a job. It's they a job. No, money, I know. Right? But what happens if like they have a bad, you know? So you know, some people take get in a bad mood because of work, and then they get, they take it out on people, or yeah. they, their job performance goes down. These people when they have a bad day, I think take it out on these animals yeah, no, because yeah. these animals aren't gonna fight back, and it's like, it's pretty sad, you know. Uh, so I don't I don't know I mean yeah it's so it's so hard to try to control humans in in every aspect because yeah like you have a certain amount of people working in a meat packing plant or a, not even or a slaughterhouse you you have you get that amount of people and there's gonna be a percentage of them that you know that have those those shitty tendencies so yeah like one here's a, solu here's a solution it's just the way it is it's just, humans are just like this solution I don't know again uh, it's like they like. To become a cop, you've got to do all these background checks and do the exams to make sure you're, you're not a nutball because they're not going to hire a psycho to be a cop. What if they had those kind of measures? And, cool. and what if they had, 
camera set up in every part of a slaughterhouse going at all times. It's just like, you know, if I own a store, I'm gonna have a, just because for theft. So you have that, except in the washrooms, obviously, uh, for privacy, where you would be able to see at all times to make sure that the people there are not abusing animals. Why not? Right. Um, how expensive is that? Now, yeah, because I think right now it's kind of like the requirements to work in a slaughterhouse is probably, you don't need anything. Yeah, because, exactly, because not, I don't, hey, what do you want to, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to kill cows and, and, and yeah, it's not no a, one does it. So the person that's going to work there, I just feel like, you know, they could be coming out of jail, they need a job, and that guy was a psychopath, so he's going to take it out on, on animals, and it's, it's really sad. Um, but, I, you know, I, you know I, I don't know, like, Okay, on paper, if you t theoretically on paper, I don't think I should humans should be eating meat be the way that is being done currently. Yeah. But it's it just you know. And the thing like is, I it. think a lot of people who do eat meat, if they had to go through the, if they had to watch an animal go through the process of what it takes to go from uh, on the the field to in a package in a supermarket they wouldn't eat meat anyways. It's like every time you want to eat a steak, you got to go watch the cow get killed. You have to watch the cow get its skin stripped off, get it bled from the neck, you know, sliced up. You have to watch that whole thing every time you just want a piece of meat. I think that would deter a lot of people right there. It's oh, the fact that sure. we're so disconnected from that process that, um, that leads to uh, people just, you know, eating, eating meat and not thinking about where it comes from. Yeah, and that, actually that, in, in the movie Cove, uh, with the dolphin slaughter in Taiji, Japan, the same thing. People in Japan don't even know what's happening. Oh, what? But you see that these, uh, the Japanese dolphin farmers, because there's a lot of money, because of these aquariums, they're slaughtering these innocent dolphins for no apparent reason. It just boggles my mind. A big percent of you are meat eaters, but do you guys believe in animal captivity? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I hate zoos. I hate zoos. I hate aquariums. Every I've like I've never even as a kid. Uh, yeah. As a kid, I liked no, it. No, fuck that. I've never had a good time at a fucking aquarium. I well, hate even it. As trying a kid? to teach me shit about animals. It's like, what is the benefit? Okay, it's, it's a, you get to go look at an animal in its natural state. You know, it's not in its natural state. It's a fucking artificial environment that they've created. That's supposed to be like looking at an animal in the wild. So you're, you're it, when you were in grade one, two, and three, you walked in an aquarium, and that's what you were thinking. No, I guess not. When I was a kid, I guess when I was a kid, yeah, yeah, but no, you're thinking one, oh my god, a field trip. Two, we don't have to be in class. Yeah, Three, <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly, right. exactly. And actually, you're looking at these animals. So when you're a kid, yeah, it's 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 mesmer, it's it's awesome. But if you think about it, like you know, like uh, you don't need to go to a aquarium to be educated. You, like you said, National Geographic, Discovery yeah, yeah. Channel. I have, I have way more respect for yeah. You get a video way more for going into the yeah into wild. the wild. That that is the right thing to do. Yeah. Because um, then you're so, actually looking at it in its natural yeah. environment. In the, you know, the, then there's actual research behind it, and that's a way more effective way to learn. If you're really interested in learning about animals, then. Either, yeah, watch documentaries or, you know, invest the money to go and go to these places. Yeah. But to go and fucking look at a lion walking around behind bars on a, in a fucking, like, gravel pit, that's studying a lion. So the question is, are you guys, do you guys, are you guys vegan or would you ever become vegan? Why and why not? And um, if you believe in, in if you're anti-animal captivity, um, but yet eat meat, do you feel that that might be hypocritical? I, I, I kind of, I'm starting to think that might be, but... Yeah, ah, man, I love a good steak. Steak. Prime rib. Uh, I don't like prime rib that much. I just like Five Guys burgers. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Well, uh, I don't know. Let's shoot another one. Let's just cut this and shoot another topic. One more. <laughs> one more for the kids out there. <laughs> huh? Yeah, sure. We never actually showed the one about us doing drugs, but it was bad. Yeah, it's yeah bad. I didn't like it. We could redo it. I didn't. I watched that footage. It was embarrassing. Okay, well, let's cut this. Okay, so um, there you go. Put some comments down if, you know, whatever. You can put it, call me an idiot or whatever again like last time. <laughs> I love doing that. Yeah, that's fine, you know. Um, I like that, though. It's like, if, if, we're, if we're talking about something that, that inspires you enough 
to call us stupid. I, I like that. I think yeah, that, yeah, we've yeah. done a good job. Because it, you can't make it, everybody happy. And, and I don't want to. I don't want to make everyone happy. That's what I like about doing this is the fact that it, people come in and say, you're an idiot, you're stupid. It's like, that's awesome because it's better than them just watching it and not being, just passively passing it off. Like, it's not worth commenting on, right? Yeah. I would way rather have an, a negative comment than no comment. Definitely. I agree with you. Yeah. Okay, well, till next time, kids. Oh, yeah, so uh, what's our Twitter? Uh, at TGK Films. What's your Twitter? At Pol I don't know. At Palakaju2. You know, we'll you're, put it up. I can't remember what it is. And then Instagram, uh, TGK73. You don't have Instagram, right? No. If you want to see some cool photos. And, I think I was, uh, I was thinking about starting a Vine. Yeah, Vine's pretty cool. Seven seconds. Yeah. I think I might do a Vine. Okay, well, we've got another topic we're going to film, so we'll catch you later. Okay, bye, guys. Okay, ciao. Roast beef. Roast beef. Roast beef's good. What do you think about 50 shades of yellow? <laughs> what do you think of 50 shades of yellow? Okay. What do you think of 50 shades of yellow? <laughs> <laughs> do you know uh, where I can get a book called Your Telephone Number?